regardless of the situation, the reality and circumstance we arrived at, up to this point in time of dominant history and its ill-gotten revisionism, could lead the sheeple into believing that what we are doing to the earth is the only remaining choice surviving. Capitalism, disguised in experiential democracy and its patriarchies, is showing signs of a lost investment. We must not examine the cost in body bags, body counts, nor stock exchanging itself into the illusion that monetary value is the epiphany of so-called civilized minds. This mindset has given itself the privilege to establish immortality by destroying the very sustenance that derives life as human beings know it. It is human to only think of the human evolutionary process as elite to all life. The very political process we are demanding from each nation to nation, across this earth to whom we belong, especially the alternative class, is exactly that. It is in the word alternative. Alternative to what? Why change the native way? when it is a tried and true continuation simply because it works. No matter what anthropological theories abound within the confines of convincing you that the scientific rationale translates only rhetorical religiosities which compromise nothing but spirit. If we really get a fix, a reality fix, on who we are and where we think sanctimonious technology is taking humankind, and if we as indigenous peoples with indigenous thinking processes, which includes you, are going to be in this seventh generation, then let's face it, regardless of the situation, we are not alone, we are not inherently intelligent, we are only a strand in the web of life. You have heard it before, this is not a cliche for another boring drill to wake up this is an urgent necessity, a dire need that you, as an individual, take the responsibility of maintaining the earth life. Its inhabitants, which come in all forms and expose the apologetic predator called guilt, sin, and blame. So this earth rant could be used as a conjuring of spirit or simply cast aside as a throwaway society that you have become accustomed to, regardless of the situation. One thing is simple. If we continue to support and make all our decisions through the bank, we will destroy life as we know it. We will have genetically altered our spirits because we did not resist, nor struggle, nor realize our place in the universe. We must make our decisions through Mother Earth now, regardless of the situation, regardless of the situation. Remember, real eyes realize real lies. Indigenous peoples are not just brown or, or black people; they are they come in all colors. So, and this is, and 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 as you know, those indigenous peoples have Mother Earth at in in the forefront of, of their lives because they have to live, or they want to live with. It's a necessity to live with Mother Earth, and and as you as you just played Redshift, you know, I was thinking about um, how we are making our minds up through the bank, you know, I realize that's part of it. Mm -hmm. But isn't it a better decision to wait and think about things and how we're treating the earth and make our decisions from that, the seven generations behind us and seven generations ahead. So um so there you there you go. It's another 